when you look at the protein content of, uh, of cow's milk, what you find is that there is almost five times more protein per kilocalorie. Again, because the baby calf is growing so much faster. And when you look at the casein to whey ratio, there is much more, uh, um, uh, there's seven times more casein in cow's milk versus uh, human milk. Um, and casein is much more uh, growth promoting uh, than, uh, than, than, than whey is. Um, and it, um, it, it promotes much bigger growth. Uh, um, in, in, in the, uh, in the calves. Um, I might also say that, uh, Dr. Bussey pointed out that, um, in women who drink cow's milk when they're pregnant, they tend to have bigger babies. Okay. The, um, their babies at term are significantly larger and people might say, well, what's wrong with that? It's good to have a big, healthy, bouncing baby. No, it's not, because you know what happens? Those women who deliver those bigger babies end up having much more pelvic floor trauma. They have vaginal tears, they have um, trauma to their pelvic floor, and they end up having urinary incontinence, um, uh, um, sexual dysfunction uh, as they uh, move throughout their life, um, and they. Um, uh, have a lot more problems, um, again, uh, with um, just, again, incontinence, dysfunction, uh, um, uh, uterine prolapse, and other um, 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 uh, uh, sexual health issues because of the trauma that comes from having these abnormally large babies. So none of this is benign, either for the baby or for the mother, because these, again, these big, you know, um, cow-like babies that, that end up have, uh, uh, that these women have also end up having more metabolic issues. They tend to be more obese. They tend to have a higher uh, propensity to develop diabetes and other issues as they grow and move through life. So, Again, ingesting the uh, um, uh, fluid that was not meant for humans and that was meant for cows uh, creates health problems as they move through life. Um, so when you, uh, again, look at uh, the, the human milk uh, compared to the cow's milk, there's more carbohydrate in the human milk because of the bigger brain. When you don't have that, um, the baby's brain is relatively uh, uh, starved for nutrition. And um, as I said before, uh, yes, the fat is roughly the same, but it's the wrong kind of fat. Uh, and so the, uh, the human baby ends up getting fat, um, but it uh, ends up causing metabolic derangements. Uh, um, uh, and that presents problems uh, later in life. Um, and uh, so um, the, the other thing is that it causes um, uh, problems in the micro, developing microbiome because um, the carbohydrates that are in uh, human mother's milk um, have um, uh, what are called oligosaccharides that help promote the development of a healthy microbiome in the baby. Whereas in cow's milk, you don't have those uh, oligosaccharides. And so you don't select for the right type of bacteria in the baby's uh, colon. And so again, that causes a whole slew of problems. Um, you know, the, the, um, uh, you don't select for the right type of bacteria that uh, promote the development of a healthy immune system. You don't select for the right type of bacteria that uh, create the right type of, of uh, um, uh, neurotransmitters. Um, uh, you don't select for the right type of bacteria that um, uh, uh, suppress pathogenic species of bacteria. So again, we end up setting our babies up for all sorts of health problems because we don't start them out properly um, by giving them what they really need because we give them the wrong 
type of food. Um, and uh, it, it's just it's just tragic because we, we, we've been doing the wrong thing for so long. And again, all of these slides that are ringed in blue come from Dr. Bustin. Uh, and this is what I was telling you before about the fatty acid composition that uh, the cow's milk is just filled with um, all of these, the saturated fat, Whereas human milk has a lot less saturated fat, more mono and polyunsaturated fats, which are uh, much less likely to uh, form uh, blockages and fatty streaks in the arteries uh, of, of, of the human baby. And then uh, looking at the milk driven growth patterns, um, uh, this is what I was telling you earlier about the increase in birth weight. Uh, uh, and the women who drink milk during pregnancy, they have these bigger babies, which result in more um, birth trauma, uh, which uh, causes a lot of uh, problems uh, for them later in life. And then kids who drink cow cow's, cow's milk, they also grow bigger, faster, but um, that work, uh, results in increased disease risk. Uh, because it activates uh, these mTOR genes, which um, cause accelerated aging, um, cell pro proliferation. It causes earlier onset of age-related diseases. Um, cow's milk induces higher magnitude of mTOR activation than uh, human milk. And it just makes these kids grow bigger, faster, which, again, causes earlier onset of puberty, uh, which will set them up again for a higher risk for breast and prostate cancer, uh, colon cancer, heart disease, uh, and type two diabetes. Um, Plant-based kids, on the other hand, they experience a slower growth rate in earlier child childhood that results in a later onset of puberty or menarche. Um, they have a later and a slower growth spurt um, and a longer growth period. But, and this is super important, they ultimately uh, reach their normal size. And some studies suggest they actually end up um, slightly taller than uh, would be predicted um, uh, based on their genetic profile, but they do it at a lower body weight, which again um, um, uh, means that they are at a reduced uh, um, long-term disease risk, and that correlates with improved health and increased longevity. So that slower growth uh, uh, rate results in better health throughout their lifetime and a lower long-term disease risk. So you see being plant-based is so much better for your kids because it is what should be normal for human beings. This, you know, bigger, faster, heavier is not what we're supposed to be doing. And it shouldn't, it's not what we're supposed to be doing to our kids. We're killing our kids. It's just disgusting. Um, uh, and, and we're turning our kids into these little human cows and it's just not good for 